Hello and welcome to Review with Brittany D. I wouldn't be like you to, shall we? <laughs> it's just my reviews. I mean, hey. I digress. I'm Whitney. It's exciting. What up, what up, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to click that subscribe button so you can be part of the witnesses. Let's get into this, okay? So, Happy New Year to you guys all. I'm coming to you with a podcast because this is actually breaking news and I didn't have time to uh, come on camera and get all dolled up for you. But um, I have some unfortunate news uh, reported by People's Magazine. Bobby Christine, um... Christine Brown's ex-boyfriend Nick Gordon dies at 30 years old from a drug overdose. Let me get into my commentary. Um, well, actually, let me get me let me get into this article, and I'm gonna get back with my commentary. Okay, so reported by People, it says Gordon's um, death comes three years after he was found uh, liable in the wrongful death case of his former girlfriend Bobby uh, Christina Brown. Okay, and it goes on to say that Nick Gordon, the ex-boyfriend of Bobby Christine Brown, has died. He was 30. Gordon's brother, Jack Walker Jr., confirms to people that Gordon died Wednesday in Florida following a drug overdose. We are devastated by the loss of my beautiful brother, Walker Jr., tells people in a statement. He leaves a void in the hearts of my family and his friends. Nick's battle in life was not an easy one. I will be forever grateful that my God afforded a small moment at the very end of Nick's life, and I was able to hold his hand as he journeyed on. Sources told the Daily Mail that Gordon had suffered a number of heart attacks on New Year's Day and was rushed to the intensive care unit Altamonet Springs uh, Hospital, where he eventually died. Walker Jr. expressed his heartbreak on Facebook shortly after the devastating news. I, why I did I have to lose my brother? I'm thinking he wants to say, God, why did I have to lose my brother on New Year's? And all I can do is cry. He went on in a separate post. I love you so very much, big brother. I hope you heard me talking to you at your bedside. You are with me and I can feel it. I love you. I love you. I love you. Watch over me and your nieces. Shh, wasn't supposed to go like this. You were my best friend, and I never in a million years thought I'd be writing this for my ace. I was there through every step. We all love you no matter what, and we'll all stay strong for you. New Year's didn't have to start like this, and you just told me you had to see me for New Year's. But I'm blessed I got to talk to you last night. You will forever be my best friend. Nobody will ever take your place. And this is the post that his brother um, post um, with that. It goes on to say Gordon's sudden death comes three years after he was found liable in the wrongful death case of Whitney Houston's daughter, Brown. The 22-year-old was found unconscious and unresponsive with drugs in her system in the bathroom of the Georgia townhouse she shared with Gordon in early 2015. As a result of of the case decision, Gordon was ordered by a judge to pay $36 million to her estate. In recent years, Gordon found himself entangled in legal drama after his girlfriend, Laura, um, accused him of a physical altercation. According to a March 2018 arrest report obtained by People, she had told authorities that her boyfriend struck her in the face while she was driving, adding that he also pulled her hair and stated to her that he should make her wreck the vehicle. In April 2018, however, she, uh, she under oath denied being struck or touched against her will by Gordon in statements written in a letter to the judge, according to a statement from the from the county state attorney first obtained by the blast. Now, due to those statements contra contradicting her original ones, pros prosecutors decided not to go through with a trial following the review of body camera footage, the 911 audio, sworn statements, and jail call recordings, and announced the Gordon announced that Gordon announced that Gordon would not be charged with no in 
with no independent witnesses to the incident, prosecutors do not have a good faith base on which to proceed to trial. Prosecutors said in the statement, Gordon was previously arrested in June 2017 on domestic battery and false imprisonment charges after she filed a police report alleging her boyfriend had beaten her and held her in her home. The charges were dropped in August of that year. She was Gordon's latest high-profile romance since the passing of Brown. Okay, so you guys heard that whole uh, article in its entirety. Um, my heart goes out to uh, Nick Gordon and his family. Um, my thing in regards to everything is just rather disturbing and creepy. Just the chain of events that followed the death of um, the late, great, beautiful Whitney Houston, as well as her daughter. Now this guy. It's just that I'm just going to say it. Drugs are a hell of a battle. And it's it's just very sad, you know, that the um, times that we're in is promoted so heavily. And it's so sad that, you know, um, the start of the year had to be this for uh, this particular uh, family. And it's just, it's just very sad. And it was several times that this kid was crying out, you know, um, our interviews, especially after the loss of, um, of Christina and then being accused, um, you know, allegedly of, you know, being um, a part or the reason as to that contribute to her death. You know, I can only imagine that guilt, you know, and gosh, it's, it's just really sad to say. But I don't know what more to say in regards to it. So that's the video, you guys. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. While you're there, please take out the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so very much. And um, you guys have a wonderfully blessed new year. And love on your loved ones that are here. Give flowers while they're here. Because life is very short. Alright, you guys. Have a blessed one. Signing off.